So let me now uh, introduce uh, the speakers. Uh, the, no, I will not introduce all the speakers. I will introduce speakers one by one, if I, if I may. So uh, Serge Ekwe is the president of the West African Development Bank. He's been in the private sector also, and uh, uh, you have both, I would say, the vision of the private sector, the vision of the public sector, and of course, the standpoint of a very important development bank. You have the floor. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, thank you for having me. Um, I won't be too long. I would just like to highlight four major, four major uh, key policy objectives we face in Africa in general, I would say, and more specifically in our, into our region, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. The first one, um, it's addressing the food insecurity. I think it's a major threat we have to deal with um, in a context where our, um, we are in a region um, in a region where the, the, the median age of our population is 20 years, and we all know that our population doubles every 25 years. So that's a, that's a real threat in the context you know you have uh, uh, um, previously described. The second key policy objective is related to the way we should manage the shift in monetary policy. Um, the new area in which we are, and I have to say that when we last met uh, uh, last year, I was among those who was believing that the inflation would be temporary, a temporary stage. And I have to say that today, when we look at things in details, it appears that we are moving into a new area. I would even say back into the 70s, where I don't know uh, if you, re I'm sure you do, uh, I'm sure you, you do where, you remember where Mexico was, was funding, was uh, uh, getting access to uh, capital markets in the, in, the, in the late 90s at 18%, 10 years maturity. And that was, that was not coming to anyone as a surprise. But today, um, getting funding at 18%, is a real, real, real uh, uh, a challenge. So the shift into monetary policy with this idea uh, and this reality of um, the majority, not to say the whole, uh, our, our, our country's sovereign would no longer have access to capital markets. That's going to be a real, a real threat. That's going to be a real issue. The third one is the way we would consolidate public finances amid tighter financial conditions. Definitely. And the last, surely not the least, is the way we would be setting up the stage of sustainable and greener growth. We have last year at BYD uh, launched a sustainable bonds, um, uh, uh, 750 million euro, uh, 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 six times oversubscribed. And uh, back then, my credo was cash being king, cash being king we would have to do whatever to get as much funding as uh, we could. So my very last point is, uh, I think to tackle these issues, we need to see how to strengthen the chair one capital of our institution. Answering to this very question, the one and only question that matters, that is, who bears with the first losses? Who bears with the, 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 the first piece of losses? So, Mr. President, this is in a nutshell what I wanted to say, and I could elaborate uh, down the road. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much indeed, uh, Serge. It is, uh, it is very, very clear, very concise, and uh, of course, we understand very dramatic. You mentioned 18%. Yeah, back in the days, yeah. Mexico, that, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, of course, I have the memory <laughs> of, uh, of Paul Volcker regaining control of inflation, inflation in the U.S. at 14% or something, and then, of course, a dramatic recession and a dramatic uh, uh, financial crisis in the emerging world, uh, Latin America first, and then practically all the emerging world. You're absolutely right. I take it that we are not in the same situation because the central banks are not nonchalant, if I may. They are not letting things go. They have decided 
with some lags, as I said, but to retake, regain control of the situation. But thank you very much uh, for, for this uh, uh, very, very impressive and quite dramatic uh, uh, picture.